Hello, I'm back with a nose looking so much better as you can see. All signs of scabbiness has gone and all signs of skin cancer cells have gone. In fact, it's looking so good. I'm quite impressed with this little weed. So let me tell you a bit more about it. I've got it growing all amongst my little seedlings. As you can see, it's just popped up everywhere. So no shortage of cancer weed in this garden. So yeah, it's been studied extensively for its ability to treat non-melanoma skin cancer. Studies have shown that it can destroy cancerous cells while leaving healthy cells unaffected. Incredible. Other skin conditions it has been used to treat include eczema, psoriasis, and warts. Warning, it can be toxic if ingested, so I would not recommend you try that. Keep it external, and it works wonders. It was also used as a natural greenish-yellow dye years ago. And in folklore and superstition, it has magical properties used in love spells and rituals. In European folklore, it's believed to protect against evil spirits and was hung above doorways and windows to ward off evil. Isn't that fascinating? And my cat just wants to come and say hello. Hey, my G. So yeah, this little plant that you find all over your back garden has very powerful healing properties. So if you have any dodgy skin cancer cells that you suspect and you want to give it a go, go for it. I've now used it in three different parts of my body and it's worked hugely successfully. So don't be afraid of it, just use it with caution. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you have success. Till the next time, take care, see you soon.